G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now stick with me to the end of this video and you will have the knowledge to be able to create and implement a multi-step document approval process directly from within document libraries in SharePoint. Now we're going to be using the new quick step functionality that is coming or may already be there in your SharePoint environment. So let's get stuck into it. So we can see that I'm in a SharePoint site. I've got a document library called incoming invoices. Now we're gonna upload documents into here and we're going to get them approved, not by one person, but by two people. And then you can also build on top of that as well. Now you'll notice here that I've got a column called pro, uh, payment contact. That's going to be the first person that gets the approval process. So under the automate uh, drop down here, you can see that we've now got quick steps. We can create quick steps. So when I go create a quick step, you can see I've got draft an email, start a Teams chat, set a value, execute a flow, but we don't have a document approval quick step yet. So the first thing that we need to do to make that available is we need to configure approvals. We need to enable approvals on this document library. So let's turn this on and we'll hit apply. Now I'm going to go back into quick steps, create a quick step. You'll now see I've got a, an option that is available to me called send an approval request. So when I click this, I'm taken to the next step. Show a command that will, that will, for each selected file, send an approval request to, I can enter a name or an email address in here. Now, when I click inside this, you can see that I've got the ability to set this to a column in my document library as well. I'm going to set this to the payment contact, all right? So let's go uh, process invoice, all right? As my quick step name. That's going to be the button that appears that I'll show you in just a second. Send an approval request with a confirmation dialog box. Yes, I could choose this to immediately if I wanted to, but I'm going to show you the dialog box in this scenario. And I do require responses from all approvers and I will hit create. That's now created and you'll notice that I can toggle this on or off so I can turn it on or off. I'm gonna leave it enabled. Now, let's upload a document, all right? So we'll get grab a document, We'll upload it into our library. Uh, so let me just grab our document here and we will kick off our approval process. All right, so this has been up uploaded, okay? You can see that I do have some required information here. So I'm just going to pop this into grid view. I will set my, my payment contact, which will be the first step in the process. I'll set my due date because that's metadata that needs to be filled out. Then I will exit the grid view and we are good to go. Now, when I select a document and I go to my three little dots, I can go to automate and I can go process invoice and that'll kick off that quick step for me and that process. It'll send the document directly to that um, to that uh, the payment contact, all right? But we wanna make this a multi-step approval process. So when we select our file and we go to automate and we go to process this invoice, this is where we can set or uh, add additional people and also require responses in the assigned order. All right, so when I hover over this little information icon, you can see that I've got this little tool tip. Multiple recipients can be added to the level and only one needs to respond to this request to move forward. But I wanna turn this on because I want everybody uh, to, to, I wanna require responses from everybody in this order. I'm going to then pop my name in here and I will be the gatekeeper, the last approver in this process. So now I'm going to hit submit. That is going to create and you can see down the bottom here, it's creating this approval request, all right? So the first step is going to go to Frankie, all right? So I will flip over to Frankie over here and I'll go to Teams and you can see that he's just got this little toast notification that I've sent a, an approval request. You can see that when I have a look at this approval re request, it's got two steps. It's pending a response, all right, from Frankie, the logged in user here, and then it's gonna to go to step two to Daniel Anderson. I'm gonna approve this as Frankie, all right? So that has been the first step. I'll then pop back, and I've just got a little toast notification here in my account, and I can see it's pending a response from me, 
All right, so the second person in my multi-stage, my, my, my multi-step document approval process. I will hit approve. I'll jump back into SharePoint and what we will notice is that when I hit the refresh, or when that approval gets processed, right? So I've got the two stages, the two steps, they've both been approved. I've got my approval status here, which is sitting at the moment at requested. And because both people have now approved that, this approval status will change to approved, all right? So there we go, it's just ticked over to approved and now that process has been created or completed, all right? So in a matter of minutes, what we've now got ourselves here in this uh, invoices library is a multi-step document approval process, but it gives us some flexibility because each invoice might need to be gatekept or gatekept by different people, all right? So that final approver may need to change. The payment contact will always uh, be default and will always be the first, but we might want to, let's say, have a different second person that approves or has the final say. So if we upload another document here and we set the payment contact, I'll just set this to Frankie again, uh, who will be always be the f for this particular payment contact. And then let's just set the due date as well. So Frankie's going to get the first approval um, uh, message and then we could set the second person. All right. So again, I'm going to jump up to my menu. I'll go to automate and I'll go to process this invoice. Frankie gets, because he's been added as a payment contact, all right, gets added automatically. I'm going to turn this on. Now you'll notice and a, a thing here is if you don't need multi-step, you can just leave, turn this off and leave this toggle off. But I'm gonna turn this on and I can add another person to that secondary contact or the secondary person in that process, all right? So it gives us a lot of flexibility on who approves first and second and third, etc., etc. There we go, quick steps using quick steps to create a multi-step document approval process in a matter of minutes. Really good use cases there. Go and have a look, check it out, start creating your business processes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.